everyone! So we've been getting a lot of requests for recipes and tutorials on our Character Cafe TikToks. So today we decided to give you guys a peek into the process of making your own. You can make your own Character Cafe for a party or you can just do it for yourself. Either way it's really fun. The options are basically limitless. Today we'll be walking you through us making our Super Mario Character Cafe. You can use this tutorial and apply it to any other ideas you have because the foods are super versatile. All right. Step 1. Research and Planning Before you start making things for your character cafe, we would highly advise that you figure out exactly what you want to make and how. You may be wondering what dishes to make. If it's a show, movie, game, or book, you can make things based off the food showed in the story. For example, we made mega tomatoes for our Kirby cafe and rice balls for a Pokemon cafe. However, if there isn't any iconic food shown canonically, you can still make dishes that give off the same vibe of the theme, or food that resembles familiar characters or objects. A great place of inspiration is looking at existing character cafes. I really like this website called Sora News 24 because they have a lot of English articles about themed restaurants in Japan. Some common dishes you'll see are burgers, sandwiches, curry rice, parfaits, and pancakes. That's because all these things are easy to make into different colors and shapes. But themed restaurants also have very unique items that encapsulate the feeling of the fictional world. Once you get a vague idea of what you want to make, figure out how you'll execute it. Some staples to making food art are sushi nori, white cheese, ketchup, edible ink, and brushes. We make our own edible ink using activated charcoal powder and water. We like using natural coloring when dyeing our foods. Great natural dyes you can use are turmeric, matcha powder, beetroot powder, butterfly pea, activated charcoal, and cocoa powder. But of course you can use regular food dye. We like to have some rough sketches of our ideas before we make them in real life. This is a good way to preview how your food might turn out looking. Step 2. Decorations Before you make your food, you might want to make decorations as well, especially if you don't have any merchandise of your chosen theme. Luckily, with just paper and markers, you can add a lot of character to your character cafe. Using cardstock and a toothpick, you can draw out characters and then carefully cut them out and tape them to a toothpick. Step 3. Making the food. Now, it's time to make the food. We'll show you how to make the cookies and rice balls, both of which are easy recipes that can be shaped to resemble just about anything you want. First, we'll show you how to make rice balls. Start off with any decent brand of short grain white rice, wash the rice, then add the appropriate amount of water. But, instead of cooking it right away, let it soak in the water for an extra 15 to 30 minutes. Next, cook the rice according to the directions. When the rice is done cooking, let it sit in the rice cooker or pot with the lid shut for about 15 minutes before opening. Now, we're going to shape our rice balls into Mario and Luigi hats. But you can do any shape you like. For Mario's hat, we use some low moisture tomato paste to color it red. Using plastic wrap, shape the rice firmly, but not too tight as to smush it together. It's easiest to shape the rice into simple shapes, like balls or cubes, and then put them together to make more complex shapes. For our Luigi hat, we use spinach paste and matcha powder to make it green. Then, for decoration, we use some white rice and sushi nori. Next up, we're making a cookie recipe that works great for character cafes because the dough can be easily shaped. This is my own recipe I chose to use, though if you have a cutout cookie recipe you like, that might work just as well. Start off by mixing 30 grams of soft butter and 30 grams of powdered sugar. 
Once it's nice and smooth, add a drop of vanilla, and then mix in 5 grams of heavy cream or milk. Then, mix in 60 grams of AP or pastry flour. Mix this together till completely combined. Now, you can add dyes to your dough if you like. You can use your hand to knead the dye in, as the dough isn't easily overmixed. And now that the colors are ready, you can start shaping. You can really make the dough resemble anything, as long as it's fairly flat. If you've ever been into sculpting, this should be pretty familiar to you. And if the dough ever gets melty and hard to work with, you can let it chill in the fridge for a little. I like using charcoal ink to draw the small details. Once the cookies are shaped, you can sift some granulated sugar on top if you want a bit of crunch, but it's up to you. Before you bake them, make sure they chill in the freezer for 10 to 15 minutes until hard. Now, bake the cookies at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 9 to 13 minutes depending on the size, just until the bottoms are golden. Don't they look cute? Make sure they cool before you try to pick them up. We hope these two recipes can give you some inspiration. But the real fun can be coming up with your own dishes. It's fun to shake things up and try different recipes every time we do a character cafe. Part 4. Assembly and Enjoyment Once all your food is ready, it's time to set everything up. We actually don't have that much dishware in our house, but we try to pick things that look complementary to different types of cuisine and that have fairly simple designs. We also have a few different dollar store tablecloths that we switch between for our meal setups. And if your setup needs some more pizzazz, you can always add in a houseplant or a stuffed animal. Now it's time to sit back, relax, and feel yourself transporting into a fictional world. It's a lot of work to make everything, but it's super rewarding. Thank you so much for watching. I know that this video only scratches the surface of all the possibilities and components that can come with a themed cafe. So if you'd like to see us make a part two, please let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and ring that little bell for notifications. If you, Again, if you have anything you want to see, please comment below. And we'll see you next video. Thank you so much for watching.